everybody, it's me Cam. Welcome back to this week's video. This week, we're gonna be painting some things. I am gonna be going first. I'm gonna be showing you how I paint some things. I don't know, giving you a little tutorial, I guess. Um, but for this, we actually have to have a scenery change. I have to bring you guys to my desk right over there. So, let's get right into it. Here, This is my desk. Nice, right? <laughs> So, at the moment, it is not paint ready, so let's do that. I hope that transition was smooth. But, um, here we go. Here is my workstation. I got my water cup and my brushes over here. I have my paint palette. I have my uh, paint towel thingy. I don't know, I just wipe my wet brushes on it. And I have all of my paints over here in a bin separately. So here are our contestants for today. It's a, um, it's a brand new calculator. Oh, just got it. It's really hard to open. Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of boring. So we're gonna paint on it. We also have this canvas. This canvas. Um, is our friends. We will be painting on him. So let's get right into the calculator. Um, okay, so first thing we're gonna do is take it apart and we have to decide whether we want to paint on the case which has this on it which might ruin whatever we're trying to paint or the back which has a big flat open spot right here. I think that I want to paint on the back. Um, I don't know. Might not be the best idea because, you know, we probably won't see it as much, but I'm going to paint on the back. So let's get into doing our first coat. Okay, so to make this dry a little bit faster, even though it is a very thin coat, I have brought out my handy dandy hair dryer. I started using this the other day to dry my paintings and I have dried them and I have painted and painted so many more things because it like speeds up the process by like five times. But um, I have made some mistakes as doing this and knocking my paints over because I accidentally turned it on high and stuff like that. So if you're gonna use a hair dryer, you have to be careful not to blow anything off the table or anything. So just make sure to be careful if you're using this. Okay, so now that coat number one is done, I think I'm going to put a second coat of white on this and then I'm going to go to Pinterest and look at some ideas, figure out what in the world I'm going to paint on this. So yeah, let's do this. So yes, I have two coats on this and it's ready to paint pretty much, but I have decided that I will be painting the case even though it's got this on it. It doesn't matter. I've been looking and I've seen some ones just like this that are the same ones as this and they painted right over it, no problem. So um, a, bit of a, a little bit of movie magic right here and movie magic let's go um yeah so i painted on this um i just painted the base coat and everything and so i'm going to be painting a like ombre looking sky and then some waves down here and i think that it would be good but i'm not sure because i'm not too good at ombre and everything so i'm gonna wash my brush and then we're gonna pick out the colors Okay, so the girl's colors that I'm looking at, and I'm not trying to plagiarize or anything like that, but I think hers is pretty. Also, um, I was going to do this kind of colors anyway, because I mean, it's like sky colors. I can't really show it to you, because um, I have to move my entire setup. I'm looking at it on my computer, and you know. Yeah, so these are the colors that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to mix this and this with um, white. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to mix all these with white because I don't have any lighter pinks or purples. And, um, yeah, no, I don't have any lighter of uh, 
these colors. These are the latest ones that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these with white real quick. White real quick. And I will get back to you when they're done. Okay, so I have them all mixed here. But I just wanted to show you this pink. I think this pink is like, I don't know, expired or something. Can that happen? I tried to use it yesterday on this show that I made. It's really bad looking. I tried to do an ombre. So I did like a blue, purple, pink ombre and it didn't really turn out very good. Um, probably because I used black as a base because I wasn't sure what I was doing. But I used black as a base so that probably has something to do with it. But this pink was super runny, like it ran down the back and everything and like I could just not get it to work with me. So hopefully it works today. If I mix it with this white, maybe it'll become a lot thicker because you can see how the purple and orange run compared to the pink. Like these two barely move and this is like sloshing around. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. All right, so now that I have my more pastel colors, we're going to get started painting this. Um, I'm gonna do a time lapse and yeah, so let's go. This is a tutorial video, I guess. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I blend. I don't know if this is right, um, but this is just how I do it. You're gonna need to have your paper towel or I don't know, like um, a piece of cardboard that you can rub your brush on without getting it wet and like washing off the paint because you still have to have like some of the paint. So we're gonna start blending purple and orange and it's not the easiest color to blend, I will tell you that. I think I put too much orange right there. The waves are gonna come up to here, so I'm gonna need the pink to be up to here. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna take some purple and we're just gonna do it all right here. Um, so then you wanna wipe your brush and be careful dipping into the orange. And then just take that orange and go back and forth with the purple. And then just like switch back and forth until you feel comfortable with the results that you get. And like if you get some purple over here or some orange over here, like you might wanna like go back over that like I just did. But you know, just like be careful if you're doing that. But really it's all up to you. It's just whatever color. You know. Some colors are easier to blend than others. I will tell you that. Some colors are a lot easier to blend than others. Um, like lighter colors or colors that are next to each other in the color wheel are way easier to blend. I'm gonna wash this brush off because I am messing up. <laughs> um, but some colors are way easier to blend than others. Purple and orange are not an easy blend. That is a true statement. I mean, unless you're like an expert painter, which I am not. Don't think I am by any means. Um, I think that looks okay. That's pretty easy blend. I'm gonna stop it there before I mess anything up. Um, I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna go back in with the purple and the orange. I made the orange a bit too big because um, the orange is really just a connector between the pink and the purple. And I was just, it just kind of takes up space because I don't want to totally paint the purple sky. So, yeah. Let's try this. Alright, so I just dried that, and I mean, I think it's okay. I might go over this purple again, because I've got some spots. But, um, oh, mm, I think I just got orange in my purple. Oh, I didn't wash my brush off. Great. Make sure you wash your brush off, kids. Alright, so my brush is now all dry. So now we're going to go from pink to orange. So it's going to go like this way. So the orange is not going to be going into the, into the pink. Make sure you know, like, which way it's going, because the purple could be going down this way, and the orange could be on top of the pink, but no, it's going to be upwards. May sound confusing, but it's, it's all worth it. So I'm gonna take a big blob of pink and then smear it upwards. I'm gonna take that again. Got maybe like two layers right there. Um, and you know, you have to go in like lighter colors, you might have to go over and over again. I just wipe my brush off. See, make sure you know what you're doing. Don't ramble like me. Um, so I'm just gonna try to start blending this and then I'm gonna take a bit of orange. And then just gonna... See, I don't want orange to be the dominant color here, so I don't want a lot of that. And see, these two colors blend well together because, you know, pink is a type of red, and well, you did red orange, so. There we go, and I'm gonna dry that once again. That is dry, and I'm just gonna go over this with a second coat, nothing special. I might make this orange just a tiny bit shorter. There's still too much for me. I just need it to be one big blended color, and then we're gonna start adding the blue. to be adding the waves down here. 
And so I'm going to take out a varying amount of blues. Um, is this the same color? Yeah, so I have like 50 trillion blues. Um, I don't think I'm going to use my teal, but I'm going to take it out anyways and just set it to the side right here. Um, so I have a light blue, a bright blue, a navy blue, and an island blue. All of my blues right here. Um, so I am going to take my light blue because, you know, it's the lightest color, easiest to go over. And I'm just going to open it up and use it out of here because I don't have much left. I don't have a lot of, a lot of things left in my paint. Um, I'm not going to draw anything out on this. I'm just going to freehand it and hope for the best. So, yeah. Let's go. Okay, so I admit I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, so sure what I did. Um, I'm just gonna keep on going and act like I know what I'm doing. I'm, uh, gonna go in with this navy and I'm gonna kind of cover up some stuff, like some splotches. It's kind of everywhere, but, um, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I probably shouldn't be the one doing this tutorial. Um, Sunny, really good artist, and she's going to be painting on something. I am not sure what, um, but, yeah. Okay, so I have all of this painted in navy, and um, I'm going to rinse my brush and dry this a little, just a tiny bit, and then I'm going to go in with my bright blue. And for these two, there's really like none left, so I just have to open up the bottles and use them. So, yeah, this is going to be loud. So this is dry like partly now, so I'm gonna take some of this bright blue. Just gonna get in there and just take some paint and go back and forth. I'm not okay, so what I think I'm doing wrong here is I'm adding too big of spots. So I'm just gonna try to like scatter this paint everywhere and just like yeah, wait. I was actually trying to get it somewhere. I think the drying that off was a bad idea, but I just did it anyway, so. I think, like, I'm not sure if this is exactly what you call dry brushing. I think it is, because, I mean, like, I'm using a dry brush and having it and everything. Okay, so this is actually kind of getting to where I like it, like, at the bottom, not, not this wave thing yet. I haven't figured out how to do that. Um, it's not simple. Never said it was, I guess. Mm, yeah. But really, right now, I'm just adding, like, light spots to the dark and, um, a bit more dark to the light and kind of just, like, shadows and contrast and stuff like that. Not really shadows. I don't know. I don't, I'm just, you know, trying to make it look even, like a C. Does it look like a C? I don't know. I hope that looks like a C. This is probably just going to be like 20 minutes of me talking to myself. Probably going to have to cut out a lot of this. E. Does it look like a C? I don't know. I hope that looks like a C. This is probably just going to be like 20 minutes of me talking to myself. Probably going to have to cut out a lot of this. Okay, so I think I'm actually getting somewhere down here, so I'm going to try to get this way bit. And, like, I'm gonna be adding, um, like, the white, what should we call it, everywhere, white sea foam and stuff everywhere, so, yeah. I mean, I still need to get, like, a paint and everything. Just a real work in progress. But, I mean, like, when you're painting, you kind of just gotta go with the flow. I mean, it's hard to fix, like, a mistake that you make, and I like to go with Bob Ross on this one. There are no mistakes, just have little accidents. So, say I messed up, and I was making a butterfly, and, I don't know, there was one wing different than the other. 
I would maybe color it different than the other to show that they are not the exact same. I know that's not what a butterfly looks like, but you know. Yeah. And I um, am a person who listens to my shows when painting and stuff. Um, comment down below if you do that. Like if you get bored easily and watch shows and stuff. Or if you don't, comment down below what you do. If you just paint in silence or what. was not the best idea because I'm just going to go over it again in a darker color. I should not have used a lighter color. <sighs> Mistakes get made. Time to learn. I have learned never to do this again. I finished the clouds. I think they look pretty cool. And I'm going to show you guys how I did that for um, the hit my blank here. Sea foam. How I did that for the sea foam. So, um, so you're going to want to take your brush and dip it into the paint. You don't want too much. Like you just want a bit on that. And then you're going to take it and you're just going to dab it onto your towel. It's very colorful now. Um, so then you're just gonna wanna go, I don't know, wherever you're gonna be painting at, and then just start lightly dabbing it on in all these places. So you're just gonna wanna do that until like you're satisfied with how much it is. So you don't wanna have a ton of paint on it because then it's gonna be super thick. Um, you want it to be kind of like light colored. See there, I did not get enough paint off of it, so I'm gonna have to dab some paint off of there so yeah so yeah it's kind of like just like dry brush just tapping it and stuff pretty simple so i will do the curl of this wave and <laughs> and here it is um this is the pretty much final this is pretty much the final product, and I just have to add some Mod Podge real quick. So I'm gonna do that, and here it is. It's all Mod Podged up, and yeah, it's really nice. I like it the way it turned out. Um, yeah. You're probably wondering and asking yourself about what I'm gonna do with this. So since I painted on this, and I just have this random white splotch, um, I have decided to paint like some calligraphy i guess i don't know i can't really do calligraphy very well I'm kind of really mad at it so um i'm gonna just like write in cursive and hope for the best so yeah i'm gonna write open your mind to the skies and seas um, i'm gonna write it in pencil first just so you know um get what i'm going for here so i don't mess up Actually, I'm gonna put one coat of one more coat of white. So I need to do that real fast. Um, you guys are probably gonna watch me do that. So let's go fast. Okay, so that is uh, that's dry. So I had this idea. So when it says sky, I'll have like clouds around that, and I'll, I'll have to have colored clouds because you know this is white right here, and clouds are white. Um, and then seas, I'll add like water underneath. So I'm gonna do that and yeah. All right, so I'm taking the smallest brush that I have, dipping it into some black paint and just tracing over what I have. messed up and I'm very mad at myself. I was about to write sky twice. Some crazy reason. I'm just gonna have to go over that with white. I cannot believe I just did that. Why in the world did I just do that? 
So I will come back to you guys after I fix this. So I fixed it and I painted white over all the pencil marks because they would not erase. Um, so I am just going to jump right into adding um, the waves kind of and the clouds right here. Um, I'm going to use my favorite color which is purple. I'm going to use some of this purple which I used for this. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to like kind of make the clouds. I um, I'm just going to... This is supposed to be a tutorial, but um, I'm just, you know, I don't know really how to tutorial this. I just paint it and I guess I'll just show you as I go along. So I'm gonna take a a brush. It does not really matter what brush, but I'm gonna actually use um, this brush right here. It's a bit wet. I'm gonna be using this brush right here. It's kind of small, kind of big, not too a bit of either. And um, I'm just gonna walk you through how I do them. They're not very good, but yeah. So I take a bit on my brush. Actually, my brush needs to be a circle. Flatten it out. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in there. Um, actually, I need to wet my brush. So I'm gonna wet my brush and just pat dry it a tiny bit so it's still wet. Now we're gonna dip it into here, get the tip wet, and dip this up off a tiny bit and we're just gonna make little circles and like a cloud. Now these clouds are gonna have like a flat bottom and they're just gonna be like big kind of like actually more like thin clouds, not really fluffy clouds. So here's the top of the clouds. Nothing special. It's just your average cloud. So um we can also make another cloud right here. So, um, I'm just kind of wiping my brush off, but not like wiping it off all the way. When I'm, when I'm doing this, I'm just getting it into a point, you know, so I can get the right circles and stuff. So I'm going to take a bit of this purple and just scoop it up and put it over here. Not too much, I don't need too much. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off real fast and get a bit of this white and put it next to the purple, but not touching the purple. Wipe my brush off again. And so, here we go. So I'm going to dip uh, my brush in purple, dab that off a tiny bit, and then dab it in white, and then dab that off a tiny bit, and then go in again. So it's kind of like a white mix purple. So purple, dab that off, white, dab that off a little. So it kind of just like starts dark at the top and then gradually gets lighter, so you're going to gradually add more white to your brush as you go down to the cloud. So here is the finished product. Um, I think I got a little lazy and made it a little uneven. It's probably backwards. I don't know which way to go. I think I should just leave it like this. Um, yeah, I got a little lazy and I think it's like, well not I think, it's it's pretty off. But that's okay. I'm okay with it. I like it. So let's see the finished product together. We're ready. So here's the front, here's the back. Here's what it really looks like. Boring, right? Oh no, I got it. So it's all mod podged up and it's ready to go. Now let's see the final product. Bam! Isn't that awesome? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so um, because of how long this took me, I underestimated how long this took me. And I have um, no time left. It's like 10 o'clock. Um, so I don't really have any more time left to paint the canvas, and, uh, this is probably gonna be, like, five, ten minutes long, maybe, all of this. This took me, like, hours to paint all of this together, um, and I did not realize how long that would take me. So, we're going to jump right over to Sunny, and she's gonna have whatever she's gonna make, and then it's gonna be, um, 
So we're gonna jump right over to what she's gonna make and or paint. I don't know what she's doing. She hasn't told me. She said it was gonna be a surprise. So when I have the stuff and edit it together, I'm gonna see what she makes. So let's jump right over to Sunny and she's gonna paint something for you guys and she's gonna show you how she painted it. And yeah, um, we will get to this canvas another time. I, I don't have really any ideas for a canvas anyways, so I mean, it kind of works out. So, heading over to you, Sunny.